Oh, look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry. Hey, what's up? So, who knows about the movie Cuties? If you don't know, it's a movie about a fetus who gets influenced by a bunch of neighborhood fetuses that do provocative things and joins them despite going against their family's beliefs and, well, everyone's common sense. I was honestly going to take one for the team and watch the movie in full to review it, but I couldn't pirate it anywhere without worrying about a virus getting on my laptop and I sure as hell don't want to taint my Netflix history with it, so I'm going to go by some clips I stumbled upon on the woke cesspool that is Twitter. Interviews with the director, my, uh, my Mona Docker, uh, what? Okay, how do I pronounce this shit now? Mai Munadukure. Oh. That's how you pronounce it. Well, good luck to me trying to remember that shit. My own two cents to tell you all why not to even bother watching cuties and how retarded the people defending it really are. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Y2J Bacon XD. Call me Bacon preferably, and come over here and take a seat. I've seen a couple of clips, and honestly, it's fucking disgusting. It's gross seeing these young girls dancing sexually and buying provocative clothing. There's even worse than that portrayed in the film, and I don't want to discuss it. This looks completely wrong on every level, and there's people actually defending this shit. Who are the people defending this movie, you may ask? Surprisingly, it sure as hell was in the map community. It's the fucking SJWs on Twitter coming out once again to contradict themselves. You all are probably wondering, how are the social justice warriors contradicting themselves? Hmm? Well, as far back as last year during Japan's uh, Red Cross blood donation campaign, social justice warriors have been attacking a series called Uzaki-chan Wants to Hang Out. More specifically, targeting the titular character, Hana Uzaki. Why is that? Because she's a, sort, she's a short stack with huge knockers and thus claim that the body type doesn't exist because of her, and because of her youthful appearance. They also claim that she's pedo bait and to save the children. Because anyone who likes Uzaki-chan, and anime in general, to them is a pedophile. Yep, liking short women with big bobs is so evil, even though she's 19 and that's a real body type in real life. Hell, if you don't believe me, I want you to look up Kaho Shibuya. She's a well-known cosplayer and <clears throat> a former Japanese adult video actress who has the same body type as Uzaki-chan. She's 4'9 and has big bobs too. Wanna fucking fight? <laughs> She even finds it odd that people are hating on Uzaki-chan for real weird reasons. Why am I bringing this all up? Well, the social justice crowd cry wolf over anime and condemn it to save the children. Yet, these same people praise something as disgusting as cuties. Holy shit, man. I wonder what kind of shit they're smoking if they think anime is bad and sexualizing children is good. Want to know who you should who you should really save the children from? SJWs and Tom Hanks. They both have snakes and they aren't in their boots either. There's a snake in my pants. All right, now what about Miss Dokure? Well, she's been experiencing tons of backlash, going as far as even death threats. I do not allow sending death threats to anyone, no matter who they are. Well, unless they're pedophiles and rapists, then go nuts, because sexually assaulting people in general is not cool and just wrong. Miss Stilker is not a pedo, so please stop that. During the interview with Deadline, she said that we're fighting the same fight. We have to protect our children. Now, as true as the statement is, you technically exploited these kids and had them in compromising positions. Even on camera, for fuck's sake. Then there's the auditions. 650 children? That is insane. Now, I won't go and say that they are all twerking and shit, like a bunch of people have been saying, but I legit would not be surprised considering the context of the film and what the child actors have done in said film. 
The director had good intentions with her message and whatnot, but presented them through an ass-backwards manner instead of going the documentary route, which was the safest route when it comes to expressing concerns about a touchy topic like the hypersexualization of fetuses. This shouldn't have won a Sundance Award in my opinion, but considering who was in charge of the film festival, it proves that it unintentionally became pedo bait. Now, before the fetuses and weirdos ask how I'm putting that together, think about this. Dulcari received the directing award for Cuties in January 2019. Then April of 2019 happened, and Sterling Van Wagnen, the co-founder of the Sundance Film Festival, is charged with sexual abuse. He assaulted a nine-year-old. A fucking nine-year-old, dude! You cannot tell me that the award was probably given to Dokere because Van Wagnen got some good beef jerky going from that film. It's gross and pathetic. As for Miss Dokere, this was your first film. Improve on it. Use this controversy as a learning experience. Do not put children in those compromising situations if you ever work with them again. Talk about risky topics in a different perspective. Through a different method. Don't be a Tom Hanks and make them work it and earn it. Hanks. Look in my pants. In conclusion, Cuties is just straight up pedo bait. As for the people defending it and going, This is the future! Or, This is progressive! Y'all are fucked up. From my experiences on Twitter and online in general, SJWs are low-key pedophiles and situations like the whole thing with the former CEO of Evo, Joey Quaylar, and other events. It's always a woke crowd who contradicts themselves in the end and tries to ruin the fun for everyone because of their insecurities and weird interests. All this, insane and mon all this is insane and mind-boggling to me. At this point, I hope we all just return to Monkey and learn the ways of Harambe, dude. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll probably do a video on Tom Hanks for anyone curious about the jabs towards Hanks recently. Until then, take care and don't watch cuties. You'll thank me later.